everyone, what's up? It's Rob. Welcome back to the Polymer Summit. Uh, we are here in the lounge joined by Justin Fagnani. Justin is a software engineer on the Polymer team. Uh, kind of chillaxing in between sessions right now. Uh, Justin, you just got done doing the, uh, the tools keynote. And y'all covered a, a bunch of stuff in that keynote. Um, but for the folks who haven't seen it yet, do you want to talk about maybe some of the items that you, you highlighted there? Yeah, well, first we uh, kind of unveiled the new vision for our tools, which is that we're building tools for all the web components, not just Polymer. Yeah. And we're building them in this fashion that we have a core analysis engine that powers all of our other tools. And uh, that's going to give things like the linter and the bundler a lot more power to, uh, to operate. Yeah. Okay, and, and, and one of the things that y'all y'all mentioned too was um, some some IDE tools to make it easier to you know use web components in your editor. Um, do you want to talk about that just a little bit because that, that was kind of like a big highlight of that moment. Yeah, yeah that was definitely the most crowd pleasing moment. Uh, so what we've done with the analyzer is we've bundled up the analyzer features into an editor service that provides an API that's really nice to use from editors. Like, get me the warnings of this file uh, or at this position in the file. Get me the autocomplete at this position. And then we've made three separate plugins so far for Atom, VS Code, and Sublime uh, that are fairly simple plugins because they all rely on this editor service. And they offer autocomplete, linting, documentation, jump to declaration. And so the plan here is to you know, have people start with these three, and then hopefully have community contributions to build uh, plugins for things like WebStorm and uh, Visual Studio and Eclipse. And right on. And, and, and something that y'all mentioned, too, is that these are not just for Polymer. They're, they're, they're for, for all web components, right? Yeah, uh, the analyzer built in knows how to understand vanilla custom element uh, declarations and understand the attributes and properties. But via plugins, we could also support things like Skate.js or Bosonic. So we hope the community can contribute. Okay, awesome. So uh, for, for folks who, who kind of want to get in on this and explore this a little bit, um, where could they go to find some of those plugins? So right now, the two that are available for Atom and VS Code. And if you look in their package managers, it's called Polymer-IDE. And you can install that and see the preview version. Yeah. Awesome. So, so definitely go check those out. Uh, we'll also try to include uh, links to those packages down in the, the show notes as well. Uh, Justin, thank you so much for, for being with us today. Uh, again, we're reporting live from Polymer Summit. If you have any questions for us, you can always ping us on Twitter at hashtag Polymer Summit. I'm Rob. Stay with us. See you.